If we zoom in on this area, we'll see that there is an important region here by which blood vessels will enter and leave the liver. Right over here, we have a fairly large vein which is bringing blood to the liver. This is the hepatic portal vein, the hepatic portal vein. Notice how large it is. And right over here, this vessel, which is red in color, this is the hepatic artery. So you can see that the blood that's going to the liver is going by way of two vessels, the hepatic portal vein, right over here, and the hepatic artery, which is right over here. This is the opening of the common bile duct. So number 12 would represent the common bile duct. You can see there is another duct joining the common bile duct, which is labeled number 10. This duct is going to be going to the gallbladder, and number 10 indicates the cystic duct. So the cystic duct is going to join up with another duct, which is labeled 11 right over here. 11 represents the common hepatic duct. The common hepatic duct will take the secretions from both the right and the left lobes of the liver and bring them to the common bile duct. The cystic duct is a way that in between meals, the bile, which is continually produced by the liver, can be diverted and stored in the gallbladder, which is going to concentrate the bile and store it for future use.